Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So, I decided, I know these guys are going home this week, but I felt bad you didn't have a current video. And I know you, a lot of you are wondering what in the world happened to me. Well, COVID happened to me and the whole family and all the employees. And uh, so, we have an employee that's got high school kids and um, she caught it and brought it in. And consequently, everyone that worked here got it. And uh, so we're just getting over that and we're doing really well. We have been blessed. The Lord has blessed us greatly where that's concerned because we did not have it nearly as bad as a lot of people we know. But it's been about a 10 to 13 day course. But um, we're doing good, and every day is a little bit better. It's the uh, fatigue that gets you. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, it wears you out to do anything. <clears throat> so these guys are going home. This is Grace's kids that are left here. Spay and neuters are done. Um, so I thought I would give you current weights on these guys so you could see how they're doing. One of them has already gone home. And... Uh, they're oh, he's eating a blackberry. I have blackberry bushes, and there's a must have been a blackberry bird carried it down here on the and he just ate the blackberry. Uh, all right, so what we have out here is the royal blue collar 8302 weighs 10 pounds. And I don't know where royal blue collar is, but I'll try and see what I can find. You'll probably know. I think he's the merle. Um, I think he's the, the merle right here with the. But I can't tell. Yep, he's the royal blue collar, I think. It's so hard to tell. They've got so much hair. Um, all right, the next one is a male with a yellow collar, 8303, and it weighs 9 pounds. Uh, we got a female with a pink collar, and she's right here underneath me with the blue toy. And she is 7 pounds. She is 8306. And the female with the light green collar on is over there jumping on the squeaker, making it squeak on the far side. She's the black and white. Uh, she is eight pounds. Yep, that's the one with the green collar. And then we have uh, the female out here with the red collar. And she is 8307, and she weighs seven pounds. So, and there's a butt shot. And, you know, I can't see collar colors. That's, oh, the yellow collar is the chocolate and white party right there. I see you, you big lug. Whoops, clunk. Uh, they're doing really good. They are so ready to go home. They are so ready to come home and terrorize you. Um, I know most of them are leaving this week. We got one going home next week. I'm just trying to see what the collar on this chocolate merle was. Van uh, not Vanessa, Vanessa's out sick. Uh, Brittany did not write colors down on these guys of what they were, so I can't tell you because I don't have their microchip numbers memorized, but by this point, I know you know which puppy's yours. That's for sure. Oh, they're so busy. They needed to get out here and go play. That's for sure. They have been in the house. It was supposed to rain this morning, and we didn't let them outside to go play. But I wanted to give you at least a current video so you could see what they look like before they went home. Oh, he's got an acorn. I'll tell you what, I live in the woods. They surround my house. I love the trees, I hate the acorns. My poor deck is so um, mossy looking. I haven't, I haven't demossed my deck yet and uh, that's gonna be on my agenda before too long. I'm so ready for fall though. How about everybody else? We do a great big bean pot dinner out of a, I don't know, I've probably got a 30 gallon pot, maybe bigger. And we do a giant ham and bean cookout and I'm so ready for a ham and bean cookout. And uh, my favorite thing in the fall. But everybody is doing super good. Um, the best thing I can tell you is when you get these guys home is schedule, schedule, routine, routine, routine. Uh, this one is decided to eat the cap on the acorn. Oh, he dropped it. They're wild. Yep, they need it out of my house, that's for sure. They're going to play like crazy now. Oh, they're wound. They are current on everything they can have so far. Uh, they had a bath. 
I think one of these goes home on Friday. I'm not sure which one, but oh my goodness sake, they just need to run this off. I might leave them out here for a while and let them play. I can make this pin actually bigger and give them more room and just, they can't get out of it and I'll leave them down here for a while and let them romp it off. It will be good for them until they get tired. So when you go home, they are really good with no bark, no bite, no lick. But they're going to try you because you're a new house. You also are going to treat them different than we did. I'm pretty strict with them. Um, I stick to a regiment with them. I mean, they're in their kennel during the day if they're not outside playing. Um, they're separated usually no more than three in a kennel. Otherwise, it's too big of a mess if you have more than three with them this big. And um, so they're pretty much regimented. They're not allowed to bark and yap. Um, they can play amongst themselves, but they don't, and I don't want a nuisance barking to me is when they're standing at the fence barking at me. So that I'm really strict about. They're not allowed to do it. And you can tell from energy wise, these guys are big. They need to run this energy off. And that's probably the most important thing I can tell you is <clears throat> get them out in your yard and let them run. Um, they're not going to run away from you at this age, so please don't always slap a collar and a lish on them. They've got to learn to have a little bit of freedom or you're always going to have to worry about them running when they get off their lish. So try not to always snap them to a rope and um, teach them to stay with you. Now, if you've got neighbors that are close and they say, oh, look at the puppy, you know, yeah, the puppy's going to go to them. But you can actually work on it, you know, teach it your yard barrier. Oh, we're, we're being a bully right now. Hey. He says, nope, I'm going to pick on him. He'll get tired of it in a minute, and the other one will get him. This is like spent up energy that they need to burn off. But run their energy off at least two or three times a day. If you've got kids, let them run them pups till they drop. Uh, make sure they've got plenty of water and their food's available. 